Okay, today we're going to take a look at a Swiss cylindrical grinder. This is a Schuden, uh, made in Switzerland. Uh, this is a model HTG310. Uh, I believe the machine is new in the 1980s, but as you can see, it's in uh, wonderful shape. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a fully automatic plunge grind cycle. When we press the button and we'll open up our feed right here and we start to feed. There's a pin on the side here for your zero stop and when it gets to zero uh, there'll be a time and the machine will retract on its own. Show you that again. This is adjustment for the table swivel. These are your dogs for the table reversal. This is a setup for a uh, dead stop. And you see when the machine stops, the, uh, the headstock stops. I don't know if you can see it on this angle. I'll move over to here. And the controls the control of this machine are all centrally located. Uh, when I go to my first position, I have my headstock coming on and off. And I can change the speed by dialing this speed variator on the top. Next position brings in the wheel slide. And I could open this up and have table movement now. That's each time we reverse here, we'll feed. right down to zero. A spark out works the same way, except there's a selector switch over here that you put uh, to say whether you want it to retract at the right stop or the left stop, so it doesn't come out in the center of your workpiece. Headstock here uses a, a Morse taper number three center, and the headstock here uses a Morse taper number five. Uh, currently it has a reduction sleeve from a Morse taper number five to a Morse taper number four for the headstock spindle. This can, be, this can be made live or dead. Right now it's dead, the spindle is locked, and the driver is turning to rotate your part. Uh, you can adjust the pick feed, the amount of pick feed with your knob here. You also have a uh, reversal tarry or a dwell uh, you could set here. And uh, here is the timer for your spark out. As you, as you turn up this potentiometer, you get different times. Uh, these are the switches here for shutting the machine off. The machine is currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. has a 14-inch grinding wheel. The uh, machine will be supplied with a coolant system, which is not currently with it. Uh, we'll probably pick up a brand new uh, Gray Mills or Westco. So there you have it, it's a very nice machine uh, and thank you very much.